Welcome to the Potter Blog site, February 18th, 2014. A very weird, very concerning, and now very deleted radiation report out of New Mexico. Now, if this report is to be believed, uh, the levels of plutonium that have been detected are indicative of basically either a fire or an underground explosion. Now, the, re the report was of a plutonium reading in excess of millions of disintegrations per minute per square centimeter. Now, the units on this uh, reading indicate it's a, uh, a, a surface swipe. Uh, the reading report came from a Twitter user goes by the name of Pair of Deuces. That individual has now deleted uh, all information associated with it. And uh, we have some reason to believe that there's credence to what this person has said, but uh, we also have some indications that uh, we don't actually trust this person. They may not be completely trustworthy. It falls in the category of a person who might actually have information and might be willing to share it outside of uh, the uh, need to know limit of people who they're supposed to share it with. So it's a very interesting uh, situation, especially since it points, the, the values given point to a nuclear fire of some sort. Now we put that on top of this report in the LA Times, Los Angeles Times, uh, where it quotes an individual as saying, uh, it's a possibility that a radiological process inside a container that forced material out. Well, you know, what could that be? Well, obviously that could be a, a fission event. It could be heating caught, uh, radiological heating caught something on fire, but it uh, connotes fire, explosion of some sort, just very mealy mouth worded as to not induce fear. It's also another very interesting report uh, that came out in the uh, current Argus uh, today and it was done by a reporter named Zach Ponce. Uh, now remember that name because I'll show you that name here again in a moment. Uh, but this report goes on and basically uh, discusses uh, an engineer, engineer named Russell Hardy who's director of Carlsbad Environmental Monitoring Research Center. Uh, apparently this group has a, uh, a, an airborne monitor outside of one of the exhausts at this uh, waste uh, isolation pilot plant out there in New Mexico and every day in the morning they go out and collect filters and take readings. They've stopped him from doing that. And here's a quote from him. It's my understanding that at some point in the near future we will be allowed to collect our filters and at that point we'll be able to do our analysis. And it's very interesting because the DOE supposedly has claimed there is no surface contamination. Uh, everything's down inside the vault. If that was the case, there'd be no reason, good reason to stop this individual from going out there and taking his readings. Uh, it could be that they're waiting for some shorter half-life radiation to uh, burn off so it'll be undetectable in the uh, sample. Or it could be that there's uh, some radioactive contamination going on out there that don't want people to know about it. But it's very disconcerting and it falls exactly in line with this report of millions of disintegrations per minute per square centimeter. Now what that means is if you take that value, billions of disintegrations per minute per square centimeter of plutonium, and you calculate it out, what you really get is, is that that calculation is saying that plutonium was spread over the DOE site at a concentration very roughly equal to around one gram per square meter. Now that plutonium would have had to come from an exhaust vent at the site. And so if you have roughly a gram per square meter of plutonium laying on the ground that came out of an uh, airborne exhaust vent, that means you've more than likely had much more plutonium in the air, since only a certain percentage of it would have uh, given off a, at a surface level deposition. So it's extremely uh, concerning there what's going on. Yeah. Now, we're still not sure what's happening there, but in the end, it seems that what is happening is worse than what's being let on. So be prepared. And let's look real quick at this uh, the individual on Twitter who gave us this information and then deleted everything. Uh, we did a search on their name, Pair of Deuces. And if you'll notice here, 
they had contacted us and uh, said it was silly for us to point out that people should not uh, discount Fukushima as the source of this reading. And we still don't discount Fukushima, except if, the, if this truly is millions of disintegrations per minute, then that would highly rule out Fukushima because it's a, it's a large amount of uh, you know, a gram per square meter of plutonium spread on the ground in New Mexico. And that's, I don't expect that to come over and land on New Mexico from uh, Fukushima without landing on a bunch of different places in between. But this individual, he also contacted, he or she, contacted, uh, looks like Zach Ponce. That was the uh, reporter who wrote this uh, article we mentioned earlier for the, uh, uh, the current Argus newspaper. And so they gave this, had a lot of questions for this reporter and said his response to whatever their conversation is, we can't see it anymore because it's, uh, it's been deleted is that the story is coming soon. Now, again, our takeaway on this pair of deuces person is that they did have technician level knowledge of DOE procedures and jargon related to the type of sensors DOE would use and how they would take their measurements. But uh, they didn't have real theoretical knowledge of uh, nuclear physics, and, but they did try to come across as if they did, which we consider to be puffing. So, it's hard to say what's going on here. It's just very, very weird. And given that uh, DOE is not letting people on site to take measurements, and they're still keeping people off the, uh, uh, off the site and not letting people go underground, very, very concerning. But, again, you know, don't rule out Fukushima. There has been some reports that the radiation readings inside the vault are going down. That could be an indication that it is radon, which likely would have been a Fukushima source. If you look at our past videos, we explained how it got there, but uh, we don't know. But be prepared.